Hey, what's up, tubers? This is the SHTF Hunter, and the S is getting ready to hit the HTF here in the future, I'm afraid. And so I've started working on my 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 food supplies again, and uh, I think the time is nigh as far as working on food supplies. You better get to doing it. You know, there's a rumor of a trucker's rally like they have in Canada. Here in the U.S., um, when we talk about the trucker rally, I don't, here in the U.S., I don't really understand what they're going to accomplish here in the U.S. other than just a big F you to our president because, if, if, I mean, the you know, our Supreme Court already decided it was unconstitutional for uh, the place mandates, you know, on private companies, so... You know, I, I don't understand completely what their uh, goal would be exactly, um, <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, so, you know, that could, uh, our supply line may be short for a while. It's it's, our, it's been short, since, you know, for a couple year, a year or two now because mostly the pandemic. Now we got Biden who, you know, he ain't real smart and, you know, the economy's pretty bad you know everything's bad inflation bad economy bad but anyway so i'm trying to prepare i'm trying to get out ahead of this uh whatever's coming <laughs> so i thought i'd share a little bit of what i'm doing so uh i bought these gamma lids and these these pop onto a five gallon bucket and i got six of them and you can get these off of amazon um, they're kind of expensive over there about, they're about $10 a piece. And then you're going to pay $5 for a bucket. And I call these my Christmas buckets cause they got a green lid and a red bucket. And these, uh, tractor supply buckets are food or uh, claim to be food, food grade buckets anyway. Uh, you know, I, I seen that Lowe's hardware has buckets and they're really shiny and nice, but probably just as good. <laughs> It doesn't really matter because it, uh, these were about five dollars at Tractor Supply, and the Lowe's buckets five dollars too. But I'd say either one would be all right. But anyway, I, I'm getting started. This this bucket ain't full. Well, I'll explain to you what I'm doing. So these gamma lids have a rubber seal on them. Um, the ring. The ring snaps onto your bucket. You have to push them down real good to get them to snap. And I think, uh, I want to say these had a rubber seal on the inside or somewhere. It must have been on the inside, the rubber seal on these. But then you got this one right here. Now I've just started, and what I want to do is uh, start these buckets for dry goods, dry package goods, I guess you'd call it. But uh, now this is. This is a pack of sugar I picked up last night. I just picked a few things up, but this by no means bucket is done by no means. But, uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, so this is good. So it says it's good till 2025, uh, flour and sugar. I'm going to start vacuum packing it into more usable sizes. And, uh, I'm going to try to make one of these buckets just like uh, about one a month or something. And, uh, the reason I want to do that so they ain't expiring at the same time. And the expiration dates of the stuffing will be. Now, the chances are. Now, I'm going to add some desiccant packs in these. But uh, so I just grabbed a few things last night. You know, you get Hungry Jack uh, hash brown potatoes. And I found these laying around. I, I drank some hot chocolate, but, you know. These have got, these get, you know, some of this stuff's already almost mylar packaged, but, uh, so I grab, I'll throw some of them in my bucket and then I grab some, uh, potato, instant potatoes. I know a lot of people, these, these instant potatoes are a lot better than they used to be. So, uh, I got, uh, cornbread mix, Martha White cotton cornbread mix and i got a couple of things of rice got chicken flavor i got mexican rice and i grabbed some uh what do they call these uh 15 beans i love these things 
15 bean soup. But uh, anyway, I think one of these packs is enough to do for like, is it like two big pots, you know? So one of these packs is good for like two different big pots. So I got two of those. Here's the other one. And I got some, uh, these would be breakfast biscuits. And then I got some cheddar garlic biscuits. Mix of butter. So that's that's the start, uh, you know. And of course over here is a random KS-47 just hanging out. But, uh, you know, it's time to get prepared. And, I, you know, food preparation, I kind of got behind. Been preparing guns and ammunition. But uh, I opened this up at at uh, work i want to show you that but uh I, I bought this at walmart it's been a while back it's been like uh, hang on my dog's mess it's been like uh i don't know how many years several and uh i thought it'd be cool to try 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 open it up try them out and and i'll show you what we did do i took these to work and was going supposed to be eating on them now the uh the pack each one of these packages say they're good till 2033 and i think i seen a the lot number was, was december 2013 so um what's that 20 about 20 years you know uh, i'll let you see it for yourself so, uh, you know, these uh, packs are still good. And I'll tell you what's good. This is creamy chicken rice. I, I think I was telling you a story about. So I bought these several years ago at Walmart. Healthy vegetable chicken soup. Creamy potato soup mix. Cheese, broccoli, and rice. Maple brown sugar oatmeal. Hearty vegetable chicken soup mix. Creamy chicken rice down in the bottom. Now, uh, so it worked. We actually opened up a pack of this and started eating it. And I was going to eat some more of it, you know, and uh, the guy that's supposed to be helping me didn't want to eat, help me eat it. So so we just, eat, we, we did open up and eat all the, one pack of this oatmeal and, uh, for my so this is going to fix one of these meals it's going to require a, bowl, a way to boil water in the pot so but this one pack one of these packs served us uh served about five people i guess you'd say it probably served there was still a little bit of oatmeal left in the one pack so you can say this served six people you know for one meal or something but anyway uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to put this back in the box and reseal the box. I may try to get some desiccant packs put in there before I, well, when I say reseal, I'm talking about tape, but, uh, so, uh, and what, what one thing I was going to tell you, yeah, I found this at Walmart and they, there's another bucket called the National Geographic bucket that had the exact same contents as this thing. And I, I tried to find this online and could not find this bucket online at all. So, so whatever's here, this is all you're going to get from Grizzly Ridge, I guess. The Grizzly Ridge bucket. <laughs> what I got. But uh, I know there's other, what, Patriot Supply and uh, Four Patriots that's, that's doing these, doing stuff like this now. So, you know get out there and get your food supplies while it's uh while you still got time this is the SHTF hunter i'm out